I think Lisa and Larsa do have a real friendship. And I do think Larsa loves Lisa and wants to be there for her and like cares about her and wants her to, you know, wants to see her do well. Um, I think Larsa, maybe because of her, her life and being in the spotlight and whatnot, she's a little jaded and she takes things very personal, you know, like almost too, too personal, like normal things that one should probably just let slide off. It like, it's like a dagger to her and she takes that and then just like, comes at you with like a machete you know like it could be something really silly like oh Larsa that that shirt's not that cute or like you know like I don't like the way that that shirt looks and then it's like something like crazy personal like uh, your husband and like oh what I just said I don't like your shirt like why are we talking about my husband you know like so it's like I think Gertie says it fine like you come with a pencil and she comes with like a shotgun you know and so I just feel like she's very reactive and that le makes a small argument escalate exponentially. I mean, bring up the Kardashians and she's ready to go to World War III with you. Like I'm just like, oh my God. I, like I, she's still mad at me about stuff that happened at the reunion when I was like, I think I asked her about an NDA and I was like, I didn't think that that was a big deal. Like I live with a lawyer, right? Like a I know a lot question. of people that have to sign NDAs and I didn't, that was not meant as like a personal attack at all. I was just like, maybe we shouldn't, maybe she can't talk about it. Let's drop the subject. Like I didn't swear to you. It was like totally innocent. She's like still pissed at me for asking that. Like the audacity. How are you and Larsa today? And were you able to forgive her for those kind of, out of pocket comments about having a kid out of wedlock. I think we're both still in our feelings about some stuff that happened at the reunion uh, in New York at the reunion. And like some of those comments, you know, like that was a really hard one for me to get over. Grayson's like the love of my life. And like for anyone to like question his validity or like the circumstances under which he was created to me was like really hurtful. And especially coming from a, a, a mom, you know, like someone who has kids. And so I feel like those little things like the NDA comment and this have like overshadowed our friendship and have really like kept us from bonding. And we have a couple other incidents that happened this season that like really kind of, I think is, hol is holding us back from fully like committing to being friends. She's tough, you know? And like I said, uh, she takes things very personal and, and that's not a flaw, right? Like it is what it is. We all have our own personalities. And then she's very reactive. So, and I take things very personal and I'm very reactive. So when you have two people that are very similar, you clash. Okay, well, do you know what does not make me happy is Larsa coming for our sweet Julia, bringing up these rumors that she apparently is making out with men. What are your thoughts on her coming? She is coming for Julia, no oh, matter that, what. That, that's my point. Like Julia probably said something at some point. Oh, I think she called her like a weirdo. I don't know. There was some Instagram drama between them. And it was like stupid, petty, like drama. And then here she comes like, I heard you're making out with men, like potentially like trying to ruin a marriage, like Instagram drama, let me destroy your marriage. Like, how is that even like, and this is a perfect example of how Larsa fights, you know? Um, you know, like Julia is like a little like flirtatious, like very like sexual, like little, just, I don't know. She's very comfortable with her sexuality. I think she suppressed it for so many years that now she's very much just about like embracing how she's feeling. And I think she is teasing the paparazzi or, you know, she's out with her friend and they're taking pictures and people are like, you know, speculating that she's just like, you know what you want to show them and give you one. Martina knew about it. She didn't give a. So like, why are we trying to create drama where like there is none?